Hi guys, it's Adam with Florida Med Adventures. Today we're doing dry aged elk jerky. Hi guys, it's Adam here with Florida Men. We are taking you guys elk hunting here in the Rocky Mountains of Colorado. A little different elk hunting though. See those mountains back behind me? Right there. Here on this place, we hunt the mountains in the morning and they also have these elk that live out here on these plains. And there's not a tree, there's nothing. The only way to kill these elk is to have a cow, like a literal bovine decoy and sneak up on them, have the wind absolutely perfect. Or you can hunt them in the mountains in the morning time and uh, get it done that way. Don't forget to hit subscribe, like this video, turn on your notifications, and again, we sincerely appreciate you watching. There's two bulls. That one's a better bull. See the one chasing the cow? Yeah. So there's a raghorn and there's another bull. So you guys are probably asking, why is he using an end of an elk backstrap to do elk jerky with? Well, to be quite honest, it's because I, we haven't eaten through our freezer yet this year, and I've got to use this before I go on my elk hunt in a month. So with this, what we're going to do is we're just going to cut this silver skin off, because as we all know, if you're watching this channel, you know that this is the toughest portion of the entire backstrap here. And this is the tail of a backstrap. This isn't the big meaty portion. This is the tail end of the backstrap. And we're just getting all this tough stuff off here. So when we have our finished product, it's tender and delicious. So what I do is I like my jerky in eight to 10 inch slices, about as big around as your pinky. So what, I, what I'll do, I'll cut this eight to 10 inch slices. That may be eight to 10 inches. It's just according to who you ask. And then it's just this simple from here. Press it firmly down and cut them off about like that. And cut them as thin as you can get them. So to me, that's gonna be a good slice of elk jerky right there. It's nice, it's hearty, it can take some seasoning. It'll also smoke well and won't dry out. With this video, as you've seen in a prior scene, you've seen my big bull elk and where the, the we have the mountains in the background, my big bull laying on the ground. What this hunt is, is me and a group of buddies, we go off to this ranch in Colorado. It's a working cattle ranch. Uh, we purchase these landowner tags from the rancher, not guided. We just kind of get the tag and they let us just roll along with it. So the way my bull went down, me and my buddy that I was hunting with, we had to make a decision real quick. Do I take this camera? <laughs> get this hunt on film or do I not? Well, to be honest with you, I didn't get my elk on camera. But with that being said, when I was done on day two, I got to follow one of my buddies around and check out how his hunt went. Before we get you do-gooders on here saying, oh, it's not backcountry, it's not hunting. This is, uh, you have to march eight miles into the wilderness to kill a bull elk now you don't. went down check this out this is our chariot we've named him the silver panther nothing gets away from the silver panther look at this we have one of the four different brand of tire nice character here in the dents little rust we'll call that character too the side peeling stuff here is coming off extravagant interior this chariot look at it oh my gosh pristine Look, the, the wires are showing. Oh, man. If the wires ain't exposed, she may blow. Well, I guess it, it says that the Silver Panther will go 100 miles an hour. I've never seen it go 100. Here's the radio. Don't work. I'm 
literally knocked the dust off of it. The windshield is the windshield is split, but the good news is that helps it actually because if it wasn't split, it would give the game a an unfair advantage. Hmm. A do-gooder is gonna march 12 miles into the back country to kill me an elk with my compound bow and my fiberglass arrow. Shut up. Just hunt the way you want to hunt. Jesus. Cut it out. Oh, and even this, when we kill a bull out here in the plains, we pull him up into the flatbed with this ray and a winch. So, hmm, you do-gooders can uh, keep do-gooding, but I'm gonna keep filling my freezer. When I say dry age, I don't have a dry ager here at my house. What I do is, it was in the freezer, took it out, and what you do, leave it in your fridge, pat it dry every single day, and just let it sit in the fridge, and it gets that little crust, you trim the little crust off, and I mean, to be quite honest, the only way that me and my family eat wild game is to have a little bit of age to it, because if not, it's too gamey. It's just not great, especially off of them, one of these big rutted up bulls. So, story of my elk. Me and my buddy were, we were on the ranch, it was early in the morning, and one of our buddies that was in camp, and you go down this side of the creek, we're gonna go down this side of the creek. We'll meet somewhere in the middle, hopefully one of us have a bull dead. Well, as it turned out, we're up on the mountain watching my buddy shoot at this bull, and we heard him empty his rifle. We have no idea if he hit the bull or not. We just know we seen the bull running as hard as he could up the mountain. So we took off to meet him halfway and uh, and sure enough we ran it was almost 1.2 miles We ran and we cut this bull off. He had 49 cows with him. I killed him But unfortunately like I said, I didn't bring the camera uh, But with that being said, I got some pretty good footage of my, my buddy Mike's bull That will just have to do for this year But I think next year we're gonna have enough cameramen and enough people around to really really do what we need to do Here come take a look at this when it's done So when it's done pretty much you're gonna have it looking like this. Oh, look at that dark, dark red, almost purple meat. And those are about the right size there. You know, the size of your hand, half an inch wide, as thin as you can cut them. And then we're gonna mix up a little bit of marinade. So guys, this is a super simple jerky recipe. I don't like my jerky to be over seasoned. I like for the smoke from the smoker to hit it. I'll put it in just a little worship. Worcestershire, how do you say it? Worcestershire, 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 Worcestershire sauce. Just to give it a little bit of that hydration that it needs when it's gonna go through this smoking process. So whenever I do my dry rub, what I'll do is I'll use just simple Montreal steak seasoning, garlic, and a little bit of light brown sugar for some sweetness. So for this small batch here, really doesn't need much. About that much brown sugar, about between a third and a half a cup of garlic salt. Montreal steak seasoning. After you got it mixed up, it's pretty much all simple after this. You just put this seasoning, you mix it up, mix that brown sugar, all that garlic salt, that Montreal, just mix it up. Cover your meat with it. Rub it in real good, squish it in, whatever you want to call it, wherever you are. And we'll have people from, gosh, Montana and Wyoming, Oregon, all the western states that will watch this video simply because it's an elk video let me know down in the comments how you guys do it where you're from other than of course going 20 miles into the back country with your homemade bow being a modern day daniel boone you know to be quite honest some of you guys are you know all public land hunters some of you are private land hunters but for whatever reason it seems that whenever i see someone put out a video that they hunted on a private ranch like a private owned cattle ranch they just get bashed but let me tell you something so whenever i go elk hunting on the channel that you've seen i'll catch 30 to 40 sometimes even 45 gators a year on public water whenever i take my time to leave to go from florida somewhere else i do not want to be dealing with public land hunters i'm sorry i'm just gonna work the extra shift at work and i'm hunting on private land you guys can do what you want to do i'm just not doing it if i'm taking time away and i'm losing money away from work i'm finding somewhere private to go and kudos to you public land guys i mean it's just not for me public land alligator hunting is for me though that's my jam so with that being said I've taken all that seasoning, I've mixed it into this meat. As you can see, it is well coated. And to be quite honest, it would be totally okay if you put that meat right on the smoker right there. It'd make, it make a phenomenal jerky, really simply because of how good elk meat it is. When you get all your dry rub mixed in, just enough Worcestershire sauce to moisten it up a little bit. About that much, I mean, when I say just enough, it's like when you're done mixing it again with this, 
you shouldn't have any at the bottom of the pan. And also with this, like I'm not gonna let it marinate for days. I feel like it's unnecessary. We're gonna let this sit long enough to get the pit boss fired up and get some of that smoke rolling. A little bit of a life hack real quick before we go out to the smoker is to go out to the smoker before you get ready to put your jerky on it and just grab the rack out of the smoker. Load it up here, go put it on your smoker. It'll save you so much hassle. It'll save you the jerky slices falling down in the gray. It'll save you a ton of time and make it a little more efficient getting the jerky onto the smoker. Guys, our rack is loaded. We got the smoker on smoke mode and here we go. Dry aged elk jerky coming right at you. Guys, our dry aged elk jerky is done. Let's give it a taste, see how it is. Oh, that's good. It's really the dry age that gives it just that extra little punch. I believe I'll do that again. Guys, thank you for watching this video. Please hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification. We have gator season coming soon. We're going to be vlogging our way through the entire gator season. Can't wait for you guys to tag along. I'm also putting a link in the description down below. The Florida Mount Apparel. Use code ADAM15 for 15% off. Appreciate you guys. Yeah, I got the elk in the background. <laughs> yes. That's a big goat too. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you. 
back. 206. Huh? 244. He's got to stop. 250. Shit. He hit something. I hit him. You get him again. Get him. Where'd he go to? He's running right there. Yeah. That's, miss. That miss. Let him stop. 335. Second reticle. Fifty-four. Right in front of him. Right behind him. Up and down's good. Now this is above him. I don't know about that one. 